one game previously here, and they were hammered by Manly. Gutho takes them out on a Saturday afternoon. Plenty of stars to look at in the Parramatta side. Yeah, one star is exactly that man there, Mitchell Moses, coming off uh, his performance with New South Wales, who I thought was very, very good in their loss. Uh, has been at the forefront of everything that they've been able to do, in particular the last five weeks. He'll be looking for a huge game, huge bounce-back game. We spoke to Brad Arthur. He mentioned he was dialed in. Use those words, he was dialed in. I expect a big performance from him this afternoon. We stand by for the Dolphins, playing their first home match here on oh. Sunshine Coast. Jesse Bromwich had a few games here as a, a Melbourne player. Their most experienced man, game number 308 today for Jesse Bromwich. Kafusi is back. The Dolphins fins up on the Sunshine Coast. Finn Diesel, they call him. Police Kafusi returns to the team after a short layoff with suspension. Sean O'Sullivan's back into the team, also named to play in the hooking role. He won't be doing that. He'll be out in the halfback position. For that man there, the experienced Felice Kafusi, Premiership winner, brought to the club for everything he stands for. He's overstood the line a couple of times. In doing so, has really cost his team. And the hammer. What a high the hammer is on at the moment. Yeah. Exceptional for Queensland. Series victory. Only days ago, and he gets the opportunity at the sunny Sunshine Coast Stadium. Super Saturday, ready to go. Referee side. Goff in charge. Dolphins get us underway. Could be something special, this. I'm expecting points and something special off the kickoff. Ball trapped between legs. <laughs> and Eels in possession on their 20 metre line. Dolphins have made a habit lately of poor starts in terms of first try. Four games in a row conceding the first try. As the ball comes into the hands of Hopgood, who was absolutely outstanding against Manly last week. What a signing he's been for Parramatta. Brendan Hands again with dummy half duties today. And Ogden into the starting side. Junior Barlow off the bench. Nice touch by Ogden with post contact meters there. Left side, DJ Narsi pushing along. And Andrew Davey was half through a gap there. Stopped in the tackle. A little slow to getting to feet is Bromwich. Last tackle play. Amazo Tabuai Fido in front of Gutherson. What a battle. The two number ones. Yeah, outstanding start, wasn't it, from the Parramatta Eels. We know what sort of football they play, particularly early on. They look to go through the front door. Some passive defence to start this game, particularly on that right-hand edge. Plenty of space found from Davey. You highlighted the hammer free kick off in walking around at the hill, Corey. Anytime I met a young fan, I said, who's your favourite player? The hammer. Yeah. They just say the hammer. Here we were questioning the Dolphins, were they going to sign a marquee player? The marquee player is hammer. I'm telling you, you can put him on any billboard now. Dolphins play five for them. So they've got through the first set. Yeah, I think it was... SA, SA remains down here. I think it might have been hands that just went in at the lower leg region there of Herman S.A.S.A. Actually, yeah, trying to straight out there. Yeah, you're, getting you to, you're getting to your feet quickly on play five when you want to kick next, so you're obviously injured. And there it was just to grab at the finish. But not with force, not with force, Corey. But not necessarily still what you want to see when there's yeah. two other defenders there. It is a bit of a grey area in that regard. It's SASA back to his feet. Nothing to see here, play on. No, and it was a degree of force while there was no penalty. So the kick from O'Sullivan, great to have him back. Just the four matches. Torn Peck the night of the, the big one against the Bronx. Parramatta with the ball, 15 metres inside their own half. On for Penasini. Back up towards halfway. Instead of pairing for Parramatta, young Penasini. Simonson coming into his own lately. He's been very good. Been very good, hasn't he? Simonson picked up a double last week. Now, Hopkins straight through the setup. 
Well, they look switched on, Parramatta. They're yeah. making plenty yeah. of metres already. Their second set. Now Gutherson sweeping around to the right. Moses Gutherson, red by Aitken. He saw him running around at the last moment. Last tackle play. Moses will be the kicker. Here it comes. He goes low. Chase Kafusi hands to Hammerso. The grand rise. Tabulae Fino. Oh. Ankle tapped. Still gets the pass away. Sebo did the first damage. Tavare follows up. Oh, that's exciting rugby league right there. Still on for the Dolphins. Osako. 20 away from the line. That may be the best ankle tap of the season from Sebo. Sullivan cut down there. 18 metres away from the line. And this time, Bromwich. Almost had the hands free for an offload. First time in the Eels 20. Dolphins fans getting excited. Nicarima whips it along. Has to be a try, does it? Straightening up now. Oh, Grady. First game in the NRL. At 26 years of age. Scores. That is a moment to be calling the name McGrady back in the NRL. Nephew of the mercurial one. McGrady. Braden McGrady goes over for the try. Yeah, brilliant finish out on the left hand side from Braden McGrady. But have a look at this beautiful heads up play here from Felice Cafusi. Finds the number one man of the moment, Hamaso Tabue Fido. And the ankle tap was superb. Was able to get the ball away to, to Fade. Parramatta done a good job to get back on side, and then it was a, just a pure case of numbers out on this left hand side. I Sullivan back into the team. You and Aiken, I thought it bombed it. I thought he'd passed too early. And then the footwork of McGrady. The ability to stand up Penasini. Oh, this is some moment, Corey. What a, what a beautiful story this is, you know. 26, thinking your, your shot at the big time is over. Years ago, yeah, and a star in the Queensland Cup last year with the Norse Devils. In total, has scored 56 tries in 58 Queensland Cup games. Ten for Redcliffe this year. Called up onto the onto the big stage, and he scores right there. How good! Had plenty of work to do. Also, as I mentioned, you and Aiken delivered the pass, and McGrady. Off his left foot, try and debut. What a moment that is for the young man. I tell you who'd be a proud man, I don't know who'd be watching now, it'd be the Leeds Rhino coach, Rowan Smith, because he was the man who got McGrady back to the game. He was gone. He was gone. He encouraged him to stay at it. And here he is scoring. Good on you, Rowan, if you're watching on the other side of the world. Osako pulls it left. Lara, what a start to the game. The Dolphins lead 4-0. And what a journey it has been for that try scorer, Braden McGrady. You mentioned it, Vossi. Uh, he plays reserve grade, started back in 2017, seven years ago uh, for Tweed. He signed a deal with the Panthers in 2018. He did an ACL. He did a stint at the Titans in their 20s team. And you mentioned as well that he played the grand final in the Q Cup with Norse Devils last year before taking this opportunity to sign with Redcliffe. He did set his sights on an NRL debut this season and gets his shot today, having scored 10 tries in 11 appearances for Redcliffe Dolphins this year. He got the try double in the Queensland Cup Grand Final last year. He was a match winner. So we're off and running. 4-0. Parramatta looked great. And the Dolphins score first. Watching the warm-up of both teams, I think they really reveled in the atmosphere on the dry track. So I just thought that they were both capable of a good start. And they've done that. Kafusi with the ball here. Back to the 10-metre line. Certainly got the uh, crowd jumping a combination of the Tabuai Fido run yeah, absolutely. and the try. Inside their own 20, down to business. SASA on the run. First of three games today. We've got Penrith and Newcastle for you next, and Melbourne versus Manly, all exclusive to Fox League this afternoon and tonight. Hope all the household chores are done. It's a good travel today. Back away for Nicarima to kick. And on the bounce, that was nice and friendly for Gutherson to attack. Link up with Sivo. Good defence. To stop him with a nice challenge front on. Asako and Tafare there. 
it's going to be one of the real differences this afternoon. We saw there Nikarima not just quite get hold of the kick he was after. Wanted to go nice and long, deep into the corner. Up against Mitch Moses, who arguably has one of the best kicking games in the competition. Now, Campbell Gillard, you'd have to think he's in origin conversation for game three for New South Wales. Moses across with Hopgood, and it goes Parramatta Davey! Oh, this could be a punch fest! Davey at full tilt, lovely swerve and step. Doesn't take much to get a response to the Dolphins' first try. Yeah, it's the ability of the middle forward, the modern-day middle forward, brought over from the Penrith Panthers, arguably, I think, one of the buys of the season. Mitch Moses gets a nice long ball, short pass there to Hopgood, who then delivers a beautiful little short ball to Davey running an outside-in angle. Tabby White Fido beaten on his inside shoulder, coming across. Some poor defence from Nick Arima and the Parramatta Eels hit straight back after points. And his uh, fifth try of his career, his first on return to Parramatta, having started the year at the Bulldogs. Lock me in right now, Corey, for 36 30. Gonna <laughs> pick the score. This could be anything today. Well, the best team in the competition, the Parramatta Eels, are scoring tries down the left hand side. That make that number 33. And we saw in the opening set. A passive right-hand side defence. And Cody Nicarima in their second set has let his inside shoulder down. Moses starts today 11 shy of 1,000 career points for Parramatta. So it's now 9-9-1. Lara's on water count. We'll leave that to her with Brad Arthur. But a try from ground angle looks good. <laughs> Back rower sprints away to score. Actually, we've got a couple of late bloomer score because Davey is the late bloomer and McGrady getting the first for the Dolphins. Six four score line. So off we go again into the next phase of play and Asako close to the corner. See that in the squat position with a the catch there. Micah comes into today with 16 tries for the season. It's a good showdown. Sivo uh, v Asako, isn't it? On the hill side of the ground. But a few try game players on show today. Been on that run. Hasn't lost a game in his uh, five matches for Parramatta this season. He's five and zero. Moses on to Cartwright. Ten short of halfway. Now hands. Cam Gillard, good set following points. Last tackle play. Hands back away for Moses. The high one for Tabu Ofido. He really is an origin star based on the two matches of this year's series. Dolphin starter set on their 28 kick. If you're a Dolphin centre, I don't think you're feeling too great about the future at the moment. The signings of Farnworth and now Avarillo confirmed this week. Yeah. And can, of course, Ken play in the back row. Well, one area that they were a little light on was just their depth in all positions. As now Bromwich comes to the left hand side. Kenny. He's got it away. No, they're good pickups, but that's down the track. Farnworth and Avarillo. Now for Big Herman. Five minutes inside the perimeter half. Completion rates good, both sides. Toa swings left to Sullivan. Aitken with a kick, a deflection, and Sullivan forward pass was it? Play on the corner, flick pass down. Oh, McGrady, could he have backed himself for a double? He's got the flick on debut, five minutes from the line. Well, the crowd's up and about, and there's wonderful little short side play once again. Penasini just late returning back to the defensive line. You and Aitken puts it to the ball, right hand, uh, right foot kick. And then O'Sullivan finds McGrady. Does he get there? He probably does. He's heading towards he's the He's gone post. for the highlight reel. He's going to score <laughs> under the black dot. And he's got the flick. Oh, oh Braden. <laughs> That's extraordinary. He is. He's conceded a try double inside 10 on your first game in the NRL. He scores for sure and certain. Parramatta. Cut right, flick. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it again. Well, the fans have got what they've asked for here today. The expansive, fast game of football. Plenty of points 
This is Harlem Globetrotter stuff. <laughs> Cross for Hopgood. Here we go again. Here we go. RC to Gutherson. Gutherson to Simonson. Now Sivo. Caught by Asako. That's a strong tackle from Asako on Sivo. 25 away from the line. Ooh, terrible ball. Moses back for it. Threw a. Well, that was forward, was it? Some of the hill thought it. Now a <laughs> flick pass. Man, we've seen five flick, flick passes in the last 90 seconds. Be a handover. There's nothing better when the winger, when the ball goes over the sideline, he's got the smile on his face. We see here, oh, raised yeah, elbow there wow. from Sivo. That's a high bumper bar. Okay. That's a little bit too high. That's going to be called out now. Yeah. This, this, it might have been more, be more than report. That is a really high raising of the forearm. There's been a lot of talking around this sort of style of play, obviously with Tino Fatasu and Malawi. We we'll just have a listen. It's been looked at, you raise the elbows, it's going to be on report. We're playing here with the ball. That's though. all. But that play the ball, the kick is played at. Very on interesting. The if it hits him flush on the chin, yeah. completely different outcome. You know, you raise the bumper into the forearm, you're not going that high above the shoulder. Oh, yeah. That's the old fashioned get this India. <laughs> that's that's going on the theory you can't run with that eyes. I mean that's stick the pupper up. That's that's England 1970s test match. The old bomb forwards against the Australians. Up come the elbow at the last second. Let's stay with the play. Ogden 15 away. Hands, noses, hot oh, yeah. Hot gun throw! All himself! He is in the conversation as the player of the year, Jermaine Hopgood. What a run. Well, I mentioned it moments ago. Hopgood, what a player he is. Definitely in the sights of Billy Slater and the Maroons. No two ways about it. And it's built off the consistency of his game that we've seen this year. Leads a competition with the way he's able to promote the ball. But this one's just sheer determination. Katoa and also Kafusi back into the team. Makes short work of them. Straight over Hamasai, Tabuai, Fido. And some feeble defence from the Dolphins who haven't had to do a lot of it in the opening exchanges, but that is determination plus there from Jermaine Hopgood. Jermaine Hopgood doing some ripping and a tearing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 12 and a half minutes into the contest. Uh, we saw him on grand final day last year, didn't we, in the state championship uh, final. And he scored a try double that day for Penrith against the North Devils, was player of the match. But that's at a different level. He yeah. has carried that form into the NRL. You're the king of super coach, Corey. Yeah. You are the guru. Yeah. He's a super coach special, isn't he, Jermaine Hopkins? Yeah, absolutely. He's in my team, that's for sure. But everyone out there, all the super coach kings would have Jermaine Hopwood. Based on plays like that, we saw what he was able to, to deliver to Davey to set up for his try. Now he just punches through, and that's the questions that then get asked the defensive line. Now, Dolphins fans will be wondering why was there no penalty for the Mike Acevo foul a, play on report? It's, a, it's a good question. He went on the sideline. Watch it again. We go over and we put him on report. Just have to check the protocols on that one. On report, no penalty on a six-foot winger. But we go back for if they pick up a hip drop from three tackles earlier, that, that's on report. Why th then the Parramatta don't have the ball. And it's a bit of deja vu, gentlemen, just a couple of weeks ago on King's Birthday Monday. Sivo, same thing uh, on Jacob Kiraz, a raised elbow. Uh, he was uh, put on report. He was charged by the match review panel, but no penalty at the time. Yeah, well recounted. Lara Pitt on the sideline today. Flying I'm start to Super the Saturday. There again. Hold. Go on. you stripped down to the Fox League board shorts <laughs> for the court. Isaiah Robin Square. That's your it's short. It's that hold, sort hold, of weather. Go. It's extraordinary. Now Ogden, he stepped up, hasn't he? Yeah, he's been strong. Greg had ball. become very good, and then that uh, Liz Frank foot injury, but Ogden's going well. Now Cartwright. A lot of people warming to Parramatta as a real contender. Straight coming into today. Likes a Sean Lane still to come back. Moses to bomb from 48 metres out. Tabuai Fido with it. Right was first on the scene to make the tackle. So Dolphins score first. Parramatta get too quickly in 14 minutes. We've had 16 points scored. Now Aitken. 
coming off the bench today too. We've been lucky enough to, to call Braden McGrady's NRL debut, but uh, Harrison Graham will play his first game in the NRL today. The, officially the Dolphins' first ever signing. Round 17 plays an NRL game. Good luck to Harrison. We look forward to calling him. Hang on. Sideline is approaching. Always going in the top. Sideline is fair. Dolphins have uh, slipped here. He's been out for a few weeks, Felice Cafusi. Experienced player, just held up in the tackle there. Nicarima going to the short of the line. Timing not quite where it needed to be. And it'll be a great opportunity here for the Paramount Eels, who have taken the play to the halfway. Well, I must say, this is a uh, renaissance for 3pm football on a Saturday. We were lucky enough we called the game at Conrad the other week. We got full hat sold out. Um, there's something about it. It's quite a feel, and it's almost as if the players have lifted on the back of that. Jesse on the right here. Oh, buzzing in warm-up. They've brought it into the game. Parramatta hot right now. RC flat. Davey corner forward. They've got that one. They've got that one. Yeah. There wasn't much in it. Once again, peppering down that lock left at left hand side. Touch judge called it beautifully. RC goes to the line. Yeah, it's the right call. Digs right into the line of Felice Kafusi. In doing so, just played a little bit earlier than he needed to. V. Arthur, 10 wins to Wayne Bennett, 3 to Brad Arthur, head to head. Well, unbeaten at this ground. Off, off, stay down, off, head down. Come times on. both sides here Break. for three wins. Don't hold in there, Jesse. So the Dolphins on play one just Up outside their 40. Toa with dummy half duties here. Now for Bromwich. Jermaine, off us, square marker. They've got their experienced men, their, their three big Melbourne recruits, Kafusi and the Bromwich brothers back on deck today. Tabu Ofino has that held, held back, Sivo. It's almost professional foul stuff. Well, well, uh, yeah. Yes. Held back. You see there, Moses and Gutherson just run straight in. Without doubt. We're going there, Held back out of it with Sivo. Hammer didn't really want a part of that when he saw Sivo leave his... Wing with a missile on him. Odgan going to the field here for Parramatta. You'll see Ryan Madison in play in just a moment. A strong start from Ogden. Six runs, 63 metres. Handful of tackles. Oh, it's, a, it's a powerful bench, isn't it? Barlow, yeah. Oliver yeah. Gowie, Chris Madison, Makatoa. Fresh from scoring his first NRL try. Eels in great position again. Campbell Gillard on play one. Three tries already today. And services out in front of R.C. Moses. Can't ride. Gutherson takes on Tapu Ifido. The fullback battle again. They're level pegging. Now Hands has a crack. Held up on the line. Moses ready to weave some magic. You would assume here. I'll play short. Look, they keep going. Slow play the ball. Moses. R.C. Gets him in front of the pose. Hopgood has other ideas. Runs into Jesse Bromwich. He's still got to be where the late offload. They're lined up deep and left. Moses, Jink, Jink again. Moses, Dink, off the Jink. And then over the dead ball line. Dolphins hang on. They're just caught in two minds then, Mitchell Moses. Plenty of space when he looks up to see in the defensive line of the Dolphins, he went to go left-hand side, pass just behind him, come back down the right-hand side. Did McGrady touch that on the way through? Deemed not to have. Would have loved that to set up, Moses. Yeah, we were, we are, where we're calling from here at Sunshine Coast Stadium. Directly to our left is the Parramatta coaches box. Like we are looking in at them. Obviously, their focus isn't on us, Corey, but it was a collective shake of the heads I could report between yeah. the coaching staff as the ball went over the dead ball line. Sullivan. Here's Kenny Bromwich back inside. Dolphins about to get the goat. Mark Nichols into the game. He's won his last, I think it's six, against Parramatta. See if it's time at South Sydney. Scoop up here, Katoa. Up they go, Nicarima. Shift for 
Patel to find himself as as Dunny Half. Now the kick for O'Sullivan. High to the corner here of Russell for Parramatta. Knocked back cleanly by the Dolphins. Play on for O'Sullivan. Then it's a bit of a scramble on the deck. What's Goff going to rule here? I got knock on here. On the ground here. I knock on here. So it'll be a handover. Sullivan so saying challenge. I think he said I didn't knock on, bro. <laughs> I don't think Goff really knew what was there. going on. <clears throat> Dolphins challenge the on-field decision to knock on. Had Sean on the ground. So over yep. to the bunker, Matt Noyd in the bunker. This gives everyone a time to catch their breath. It's been fast and furious here. So how will O'Sullivan's quote last? I did it knock on, bro. The ball is passed back and then it's kicked. And then he bats it back. Well, well, there's a knock on by Parramatta. The ball is kicked by Braden McGrady. We just want to see the position of Sean O'Grady when that ball is kicked. Keep... <laughs> well, <laughs> it's a distant cousin. Well, keep up. We... <laughs> it is confusing. It's watching a lot of uh, multiple factors here, but I'm pretty sure O'Sullivan knocks it back. And it will be, uh, I believe, the knock on from Parramatta. The ball is kicked by Braden McGrady. There's O'Sullivan in front of him. Gossi in an offside position. Well, not once it contacted the Parramatta play. He's passive. He's the offense. Come on. There's a lot happening here. <laughs> There's a bit more to it. Than well, when it's kicked it there and takes a deflection off. Braden McGrady kicks the ball forward. Sean O'Sullivan, who is in front of him when the ball uh, is kicked, and is yeah, always with inside 10 metres. He's yeah, in offside yeah, position. Yeah, so he plays at it. There the you challenge go. as the decision changed is successful. Yes. And they remain, they keep their challenge. There you go. Explain that to <laughs> the first time watcher of rugby yep. league. You've actually won the challenge. However, yeah, however, yes. <laughs> He's still not sure. It's now a penalty hey. for offside. Because the, the decision's actually successful in changing the decision, but you get the penalty here for the uh, offside. <laughs> yes, there we go. Not even Gutho understood it. He's getting no. the penalty. He almost wanted to contest it. <laughs> what do you mean they keep their challenge? Now you get a penalty. Oh, so well, it's, 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 it's a valid question. Yeah. Still go back to Wino yeah. penalty against Seaver. Yeah. Then we go searching for a penalty in a bunker challenge, you know, you know, captain's challenge. Let's not get bogged down. No. Wait for the Parramatta tap on the halfway line. Campbell for Parramatta. Stand there, Jesse. Side the Dolphins half. Hands. Moses. Long. Madison. They're really targeting Nick Arima out on that right edge. And then O'Sullivan defending on the left. First game back from the peck injury as well. Layers delayed offload. Not precise, but all the same. The ball stays in play from Hopgood. A bit of a specialist in that area. They do have some offload as the Eels. 25 from the line, Moses, then Gutherson, now for Pettacini, oh great pump, over the top oh, of eight it was, Pettacini, powerful, that's a human steamroller right there, this is unbelievable, if Pettacini is able to get the ball down, incredible run, not much doing down this right hand side, Pettacini, Mitch Moses out the back, Gutherson just a little out the back there to Penasini, one on one, bang, see you later Aiken, stands up the wing and McGrady, through O'Sullivan, does hammer, do enough to put Penasini over the sideline. Oh, that's a good bump, Oh yeah. It? That's old St. Philippana stuff, who remember the former Kiwi International, it's anyone's guess the put down. <laughs> well, he's claimed, he's claimed, he's an honest man Penasini, look at this. Oh, that's brutal. Great body height. Lowered his centre of gravity. Try confirm. Penasini. Yeah. Well done. Never in doubt. Parramatta have their third. Moses is two from two for the day, but certainly his toughest kick coming up. So a 4 0 start to the Dolphins. And they could find themselves 14 down in a moment. Yeah, it was against a run of, run of play when the Dolphins are able to pick up their points. 
Hammer made a line break off Kafusi. And all since then, it has been the Parramatta Eels and Penasini with a smile on his face. Why wouldn't you? Six from eight from the right touch line. Moses, that's a great record. 75% this year. Closing in fast on the thousand points for the Eels. I'm back at him. Moses, I'm back at him. He's got it. What a kick. Seven from nine from the right hand touch line. Parramatta three straight tries and 18 and four. Yeah, your exclusive triple header here on Fox League, getting off to an absolute flyer for the Parramatta Eels. And the action continues. It's jam-packed here tomorrow on Fox League with another three games on your Sunday ticket. It all gets underway with the Broncos and the Titans. It's certainly been a week of massive upheaval on the Gold Coast. How will they respond in that local derby? Coverage will start at 1pm on Fox League. Make sure we stay I've got even guys. money bet all three matches stay tomorrow. Outside. Great trip on uh, Fox League. The Broncos tight to anything for that. Well, it's a derby for one, and all eyeballs have been on those two clubs, particularly Police the last Jackson. 24 hours. No, Justin Holbrook has been sacked from the club. And all of a sudden, little Benny Hunt has been... Oh, oh, what a, what has a been story. ...penciled in to the Brisbane Broncos outfit. So plenty to watch in tomorrow's game, one o'clock. I'm on Des Hasler watch tomorrow. I haven't seen Des <laughs> for a while, have we? How long's the hair these days? Good fit into the surfy life there on the Gold Coast. Yeah, good, good observation. They're calling it Desdeland. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cut right, Paul again. Penasini, Parramatta, raging hot. Cuffers and the score. This is magnificent rugby league from the Eels. This is Shades. Different names, of course, but you're, you're Kenny, you're Sterling, you're Groth, you're Ella. At their best, they used to score tries like that for fun. But it looks like he's picked up a bit of a burner, Gutherson, but the beautiful lead-up work once again. Down this right-hand side. Moses, little short ball there to Cartwright, who's having such a consistent season. Penasini only scored moments ago, finds Gutherson backing up, as all good fullbacks do through the middle. And very, very easy training run like attack here from the Parramatta Eels. Spoke to Brad Arthur before the game, Vossi, and he spoke about how dialed in Mitch Moses is and where they are as a football side. Won their opening. Oh, sorry, won only four games in their opening 11. And over the last four or five weeks, one of the form teams of the well, competition. It's not just winning, is it? They are putting numbers on the board. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, the, you know, tries like that, that was just executed beautifully. Perfect. And the four, you know, you talk about when you show a replay and you see the number of jerseys of the team in the frame, there's four players. Gutherson gets the ball, but there's four in the frame that are in a position. Gutherson might be more than just a minor problem, his reaction there with the shoulder. He's not, that's not great body language, is it? He'll, he'll stay on, but... He'll be right. And there's Moses again. Guther, by the way, Gutherson now 14 drives for the season. He's just, he's just taken off. for 24 to 4. Dolphins have to find a response here. I mean, obviously, they've got to attend to their defence, but they well, they can't afford to slip more behind than this. Well, it's been an area of concern, you know, particularly over the last six to eight weeks. We'll see a replay here of Gutherson. Just looks like you just got the point of the shoulder, the elbow rather, which sends a shock up through the shoulder. But it have been a real area of concern for the Dolphins, their defence. One of the worst in the competition at conceding points. 58 points in their last start. And already up against the second best attacking team in the competition. 15 minutes remaining in this first half. 24 to 4 down. Yeah, 25 gone. We've had 28 points scored. Certainly uh, something for daytime footy as well. The manner in which they've attacked. Confidence to offload. Madison on this run. They're able to keep Junior Barlow up the sleeve to come on for impact. Now Hopgood. Cartwright is having. He's having a day out. Cartwright 
And now away, Parramatta. This is a cakewalk. This is a tarmac at Sunshine Coast Stadium. And the Eels have taken off. What an amazing period for Parramatta. And directly after points. Back to the same play that they're able to score off only moments ago. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They come down to the same play, same setup. This time a little variation. Instead of out the back, he plays short. Cartwright, flick pass to Moses Penasini. This is brilliant. They asked the question before they played out the back to Moses. This time they play short to Cartwright. He then tips on to Moses. Moses sums it up beautifully. Penasini gets his double. Now Cartwright's offloading today. We've had six offloads in the match. Cartwright is four. Three of them have led to line breaks. Yeah. That that is Cartwright at his very best. That's well. It's been, that's a skill. I said earlier uh, for mine anyway in my opinion it's the most consistent and balanced season i've seen from cartwright defensively he's had his issues in his career but he's been strong in that area has always had the ability of great flair and skill but this team they are dialed in bossy first career double for will penasini back to moses look he's going to get that thousand to the eels he's uh He's five from five, so now he's one point away, sitting on nine, nine, nine points for Parramatta. Mitchell Moses, which is a lovely milestone when you see the other names, uh, Cronin and Luke Burt, the only players in club history that have gone past the thousand point mark. We've still got 13 minutes to go in the first half. I'm, ex I'm expecting something similar. RCG carry into the three and four defender. They'll put one pass wide. They'll come down this short side. They'll play probably play out the back this time to Moses. Sanko with the kick off. Gee, Dolphins need a Parramatta error badly, don't they? They, they? they either force a mistake. There's the movement of Parramatta. Up the table. The old days of bookies boards. They're turning the price in on the Eels. That's two in. Okay. Corey's got them set up. A yeah, little bit far over, so we'll throw one in over the left-hand side for Madison. Here we go. Let's have a look. So, O'Sullivan eyes off Cartwright. The dominance of the tackle slows them down there. They roll Parramatta back. So here they come. Hopgood takes the first one. Up to halfway he goes. Four tackles down for Parramatta. Hands. Gutherson. Massive metres again made by Parramatta. Wave after wave here. Moses bomb. Tabu Ifido and McGrady there. The hammer with it. Finally, some possession for the Dolphins. It feels like it's been points after points after points. Yeah, well, 27% possession over the last 10 minutes is all the Dolphins have had. They have been known to run down some teams. 26 points is that number. I think they played. <laughs> No one don't want to be playing rope dope too often, no. uh, Corey. No. Parameters try, 7th minute, 12th minute, 21st, 24th, 26th. Now Dolphins kicking. And Sullivan. Gutherson. He's uh, put aside that buck to the shoulder. Just, that, that's a win for Parramatta. They're starting their set yeah. 10 metres inside their own half. Absolutely. And just when you're in the middle, starting to fatigue a little bit, you look up and Junior Barlow's coming at you. Just ended the field. Yeah. Oh, oh, Moses cut in half by Kafusi. Straight up to his feet, the number seven. Here he is. One of the cement trucks coming off the bench for Parramatta today. Arcee. Nice little left foot step, last tackle, an attacking kick. Does it go Russell's way or do they look for Sebo? It's Moses. He kicks low. Oh, and then oh, yeah. the ball ends up in goal. That is great control. I mean, this is relentless from Parramatta. That is great game management. Yeah, brilliant little kick from Moses. Short kicking game this time. Here's the shot on the inside from Finn Diesel. And they get the next best thing. 
nicely weighted kick. Cartwright doing his job. They need the ball back desperately. He's going to roll the dice on the short one then to try and get it back. No, they go long. No. Moses is on the fly. There's uh, Jimmy Barlow. It's good contact in the lounge room, isn't it? <laughs> With that impact. Hands. Right side. Cut right. Pedicini. Running hot. Give him early ball. Sean, you win together. Running from the line. Paramount. Hands. Moses. Flat ball. Hopgood. Front of the sticks. Up together, Mark. Dolphins up the pressure every play at the moment. At 30 points to four. RC goes inside. Madison. The tackle needed to be. Hamaso's in the line here for the Dolphins. RC, then Gutherson. Caught up. Oh, oh, offload, Moses. Now that takes the number one kicker out of the play on the last. RC will step up. What's his tactic? His left foot kick over the top. Looking into the sun. Great catch. Balance to Fade. Referee says play on. And the big fella is rounded up. Jumps from outside, so from the field of play back to the end goal. Yeah, beautiful little kick here from Dejan Arce. Yeah, the call spot on. Did his best to get out to the fight, eh? That's great, though, from Parramatta, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Okay, back 30 points to four, and you're doing this. Yeah, back to back sets here. They have to go short now, surely. The Dolphins. 10 seconds in, mate. Who are out on their feet, absolutely out on their feet, under enormous amounts of fatigue. And they go on. And they're taking the Eels ox, or the Eels are taking the Dolphins oxygen at the moment. Barlow will come back. 30 from the line. Play one. Parramatta now have had 61% of the ball. They've completed 15 of 16 sets. They're through again. Simonson. Parramatta. Blue and gold wave. They might get 60 or 70 on this sort of fall. It's like shelling peas out on the edge here for the Parramatta Eels. Back-to-back -back sets, as I just mentioned, for the Dolphins. This time, nothing much doing. Their ability for big guys to play with the ball. Everyone doing their job beautifully. Madison out the back to Arcee. Simonson, who's been in a really, really good patch of form over recent weeks. Runs a beautiful line. Poor defensive read. And 34 points to four. Just with seven minutes to go in the first half. I mean, but it's if it, it doesn't let up, I, I, I'm serious now, and Dolphins fans, cover your ears. Parramatta, the way they're playing, in these conditions, gassing the Dolphins a possession, completion rate almost perfect. They do get 70 today. Yes, and, and I say that respectfully, as you do too, but I mean... 58 points they conceded in their last start against Manly. Up against the second best attacking team in the competition who are playing such a balanced style of football here this afternoon. Put back-to-back -back sets on the Dolphins. Applied the pressure, applied the pressure, pulled the trigger, come up with points. And soon to be, if Moses kicks this, 36 points to four, six minutes remaining. Now, I've been in the dressing room at different stages with Wayne Bennett. Yep. Tell us. And, tell us. Well, talking to Wayne before the game, I mean, he mentioned about they have gone away from what they were very good at in the opening six to eight weeks, and that was that gritty style of football, that determination. There's none of it. None of it this afternoon. Dolphins in more trouble than Putin right at the moment. <laughs> 36 to four, and Moses goes past 1,000 points. 36 to 4. This is staggeringly good from Parramatta. Staggeringly good. Players all doing their role. I mean, back rowers, forwards, meters, hands at a dummy half. Moses dialed in. Centers running as hard as possible. Same as back rowers. And six tries is the result so far. Jermaine Asako's kickoffs are getting shorter and shorter. <laughs> So they've got a lot to work on at half time. Well, his leg's getting tired. His right <laughs> leg. Oh, that's that's a, that's a painful line. Only kicked it 35 metres then. 
The Eels, better defence from the Dolphins. But they're just not getting a mistake. Parramatta not giving them a chance. No. It's now 16 to 17. There's seven line breaks, first half. There's seven offloads. And here's the running oh. the, the bench players. Madison running fresh as a daisy. Now hands. Now that right edge. Hopgood dummy. Better from the Dolphins this set. Way better. Parramatta to kick on the last. Moses. With Kafusi in his face. Tabu Ifido with the ball. So the Dolphins fans stunned. And there's plenty of them on the picnic rugs up on the hill here. Fins up, fins down at the moment. Probably sitting on the fin. <laughs> now Aitken. Let's hope things can change. Maybe get it back. I don't know. At least get it back to, to 36 10 at half time. That's your magic number. It certainly can ill afford any more. Harrison Graham on the field. Well, that's hardly the dream debut, is it? He wasn't expecting or he wouldn't have dreamt of. I'm going to come on when we're 32 down inside the first half. But he's out there. And good luck to the young fella. We saw him in the preseason challenge. Nikarima kicks. They're getting through on Sivo. Knock back a psycho. Play on. But no touch Parramatta. A little contest out on that right hand side. We've already highlighted Sivo and Sarko and Stefano. Some big bodies. Parramatta Hills, they're just so in sync at the moment. Every player knows their role. Play two, Simonson comes in, relieves a little bit of pressure. Tough right, touched by McGrady. Russell comes up with it. Tough on this run. A little bit more physical there, Graham over the top. Low man was Ray Stone. And this time Madison offload. Even the ones that hit the ground end up okay for Parramatta. Now Junior Barlow's throwing dummies <laughs> and stepping and sprinting. Albeit not quite as fast as Moses. That's a big halfback right there, folks. Arcee with it. Gutherson. Simonson. Sebo for the corner. Mike Sebo. Dolphins in attendance. But Sivo gets up. Is that a shrug of the shoulders? I don't know. Touching goal. He's not sure, Micah. Once again, left hand side. Simonson comes around the bend. Needed We've cleared the lead up into the try. Just looking now at grounding. Needed to straighten up just a fraction now. Just keep an eye on the back foot here of Sivo. Oh, you've spotted something, Gabby Corey. Well, from this distance, you've got good eyes. Have you seen the back foot? Is Corey right? Is Corey right? Oh. No, Corey's wrong. <laughs> it's not the first time I've been wrong, I see. <laughs> How do you spot the back foot from here? We're on the other side of the ground. Let's see. What the back foot? Okay. Well, I'm not going to give up on you yet, Corey. I mean, I'm on. No, I am giving up on you now. Oh, that's a dig. Okay, okay. Has he okay. got to the line yet? Let's have a look. Let's. Let's. <laughs> oh, this could be egg on face stuff for you, Vossi. Well, I'm a bit hungry. <laughs> so does he get it down there? Does part of the ball touch the line? Oh, it has to there, doesn't it? Oof. Oh, it's close. It's close. But you can't have simultaneous put down on a ball over the line and a foot on the sideline. That's out. That's not ball down. So, oh, the ball is originally grounded short of the line. Michael Sebo's foot touches the Correct. touch line. And he's out. <laughs> you have a decision. Yes. I'll let myself out. <laughs> Every ah, dog has its day. That will do. Every dog has its day. Corey Parker wins. Nah, it's it's be a incredible. Touch. Seriously, yeah, Superman right. had nothing on your X-ray vision. That is superbly spotted. Parker thought back foot. Are you sure the ball didn't touch the line? Well, I'm not sure about that. I just said maybe the back foot. Yeah. Front foot here, guys. Well, how come your eye only sees the, the back foot and not where the ball touches the line? How does X-ray vision work? Dolphins are with it. Ten away from their own line. Sebo denied a try. That would have been 
is 17th for the season. Now Nichols. Junior, Brendan, square marker, Junior. Oh. oh boy, this is a rough ride for the Dolphins. Three to go, first half. 40 points to four could have been awful at half time. I mean, it's yeah. not good as it is. Well, Moses kicking them from everywhere. So fours are a turn to the sixes. Nicarima, quick hands across. Sasako with a big leap. Tackled five short of halfway. Super Saturday, super day for Parramatta so far. Tabu Ifido, last tackle play. Graham, and away. Nicarima's going to run it. Back, return for Kafusi. Oh, Don't hammer. see Tabu Ifido kick all that off, and it's not bad. Bounces in front of the posts. Russell is with it. Russell gets past one, gets past two. Plows his way up to the ten. And they're the moments you feel as a footballer when they're all against you. A kick from Hammer that found the ground. There was half an opportunity. Russell let the ball bounce and then he was able to get himself out of the in-goal area. Not with the, not with the, I've seen the Hammer kick. He actually looked quite awkward kicking it. It doesn't, very. doesn't look like a true natural for him. <laughs> Why would that be? Ball flat yeah. over the top. Russell is with it for Parramatta. Benassini rolled through play. What a pass that was. Moses, Jujibalo. Offload, Parramatta killing them with offloads. Moses puts the foot down, chip over the top, gets the bounce, no. Oh, oh scooped up by Cameron. It was a touch by Hopgood, it was. He's going to say no, I didn't touch it. Going to be a challenge. Play on, they score. Bring it down a notch, bring it down. <laughs> okay. A challenge, but bring it down a notch, Corey. Well, from first challenge, glance, challenge on field decision of knock on. Yeah, I, I didn't think Hopgood actually touched it with his hands. Beautiful lead up play again, Moses and Gutherson through the middle. Wonderful little chip over the top, last line of defence. It's just shoulder to shoulder between Ray Stone and Clint Gutherson. We're playing on at this point. There's no touch there. Look at the pick up here. Yeah, if you don't mind. There's no touch by Paramount. Just going to have a look if there's a touch by. The Dolphins. Okay, so we'll examine that first of all before we get to the uh, the money play. Well, the ball is touched by Jermaine Asako. We're restarting the tackle count. Not a big factor in all the things. <laughs> <laughs> run a play, big whoop. Look at this beautiful pick up, good. But no, if it's it, the ball is recovered by Bryce Cartwright. Tackle count restarts if he hasn't knocked on. No, it's gone bowled in. That's a nutty. There's no initial knock on by Jermaine Hopgood. Yeah, well. Nutmegged himself. He's turned around and picked the ball up. So tackle count restarts. They will. Well, they, well hang on a sec. Where, where, where will the play pick up from? There's no knock on by Parramatta. The challenge by Parramatta is successful. So where do we go back to? So, yeah. Seriously, do, no, we're not going back to the play the ball there. down the field. No, no. The we'll go where Jermaine picks up the ball. Yeah. For minute 16 remaining, Just maybe yeah. they will find the 40 one. para. No, tackle zero. We tackle zero. Tackle zero. Oh, full know. set of six. Wouldn't that be something if the rule book said you go back to where you played the ball and replay the play? Parramatta, though, finishing the half, how they've played most of it. At 36 to 4, just over 60 seconds remaining. Dolphins just have to hang on. Arcee, Moses, then Guthers, and then Russell. Corey said shelling peas on the previous one. Well, they've just shelled another dozen with Russell on the right side. So, oddly enough, Sivo, the leading try scorer, is the only member of the Parramatta backline who hasn't scored in the first half. Yeah, once again, beautiful setup out the back. RC, everyone doing their job inside Charlotte, drawing in the defensive line. Some poor edge defence in this first half from the Dolphins and the Parramatta Eels. 40 points to well, four with a kick to come at Moses. You wouldn't want to be his dog today. He's kicked them from absolutely everywhere. Lovely, lovely quote. 77 years in the in the competition. This is the most first half points Parramatta has ever scored. And we are going back to some days of the great Parramatta era. And part of that era was the three points for a try. 
and then it became four points for a try in the early 80s. But never before have they scored this tally of points. And Moses on a day where he's gone past a thousand. I mean, Wayne Bennett may be a coaching messiah, but he may have to find something of biblical proportions to come up with to muster a comeback in the second half. You might have to quote the scriptures. Moses from the sideline again for almost the perfect half of rugby league. And he kicks it as well. What a super Saturday first half from Parramatta. I reckon every team in the NRL is looking over their shoulders at the Eels at the moment. Superb to watch. First half scoring seven tries to one at halftime. Parramatta 42, the Dolphins four. His team is 38 down at halftime here. Well, we got a brief shot of Wayne Bennett in the sheds at half time, really laying the law down to his troops, and rightly so. I mean, we spoke to him in the pregame. All he wanted to see was his team get back to those little finer details, those areas that put him in the picture so often in the opening eight to, eight to ten rounds, and that was just effort. Well, there's none of that happening here this Stay afternoon inside, in that guys. first half. Second half underway. Gutherson goes long, gets it right. Dolphins first use. Josh Kerr, there's another one playing his first match for the Dolphins after the mid-season switch from the Dragons. First played for Redcliffe as a 10-year-old and the Dolphins unbelievably trailing by 38 have come up with an error on play two. My goodness. Yeah, it's through that man there, Felice Kofusi. He spent some time out with suspension and his return game. He's come up with a couple of errors, missed a tackle. On Hopgood in the first cut, the first half, it let a try in. This time, starts the second half, would have wanted to get up. Up tempo, spoke about it half time. He comes up with a bobble and the play the ball. Look out straight from the scrum. Yeah. Moses on the right side. That's the way they go. Moses right up to the line, goes on the outside to Pinacini, having secured a double. Why not a, a first hat trick? Moses. Hopgood, kick will check with uh, Jermaine's numbers. He's now run on over 100 metres for the day. 11 metres from the line. Moses again, fingerprints all over the performance. RC caught in front of the posts. His third game for Parramatta. He must be loving it. Brendan Hands, Madison, dummy to Hopgood. Does it offload. That's four tackles down, Parramatta. Peppering the Dolphins line here. Moses, Junior Barlow spinning in front of the posts. Last tackle. It is left side. Arcee kick left forward. Tabuai Fido takes it over the dead ball line. Yet another yeah. line drop out. Well, they picked up where they left off, didn't they? In the first half, they had multiple repeat sets. They were composed. And this time here, Arcee, no Dylan Brown, finds himself into the side he's done a terrific job to replace set for his Make team sure stay outside here, guys. just what you wouldn't have wanted from the dolphins point of view start the second half with an error and defend your own line they've now got the dolphins at six completed sets for the match oh boy six Parramatta at 21 23. six completed sets what is what's the lowest tally ever well, well, it's, it's a fair question isn't it Six completed sets through 42 and a half minutes. Parramatta across Simonson. Hands. Really interesting to see. Good offload, Balo. Arce needs a runner. We'll find a runner. Simonson, desperate tackle. Nikarima saves a try. That's a great effort by Cody Nikarima. Arcee now. Oh, oh, and good stuff. Dolphins regroup and force the mistake. Well done from Conley Lemuelu there. Nikarima saves the try. That's the spirit.
Bennett would want. Yeah, here's the run here from Junior Barlow. Just peels through the defensive line, offload as we know he can do. Marcy maybe had an opportunity to go himself. Found Simonson, who's been in great form, was pulled down in a great tackle from Nick Arima. And they needed something. They're under all sorts of pressure. And Lemuelu, who at different stages this year, has been terrific for Wayne Bennett and the Dolphins. He comes up with a big play. And Wayne Bennett said, gents, at halftime, forget about the scoreboard. Just get back to the Dolphins game. It's about bringing energy and effort and being there for your mates in this second half. From Brad Arthur, he wants to see the Eels be ruthless here today. Uh, in the last couple of weeks, they've had handy leads at halftime and taken the foot off the gas. No cheap tries in defence. Well, they're poor. Oh, no, Dolphins, another mistake. Well, I'm telling you, I'm on completed set watch with the Dolphins right now because this is alarming that they find themselves in this position where the second half has started. And yes, some inspirational tackles, but two chances with the ball, and it has stalled again for them. Just heard from Lara Pitt on the sidelines. Wayne Bennett just wants you to turn up for your mate. You can throw all those words out as often as you want, but if you don't have the ball, Voss, he makes it very difficult to continue to tackle against a side who was white hot this afternoon. RC Simonson and uh, bumping away. He's beaten a couple. With such uh, confidence, he has a real presence out there at the moment. Bailey Simonson, he will not be shifted from this back line now. Barlow, another powerful carry. He'll set up here. Nasi changes direction. Simonson, good defense. Tafare got him onto his back. Now, hands halfway through the set. RC and then Hopgood, almost the offload. Just hanging on was Kenny Bromwich. Quick play the ball though. Moses can't ride another offload. Went forward, did it? Oh, yes. Off off forward anyway. the offload. An offload Scrum. finally wayward from Parramatta. Here we see there from Parramatta just a couple opportunities missed. We saw in the first half them able to just really square up the defensive line for some nice hard running. And then off the back of that, they had some joy by going to the edges in the opening couple of sets to start this second half. They've looked to go lateral straight away without squaring up the defensive line. By the way, Fox Sports Lab, how good are they? They've already gone back over the last 10 years. The least number of completed sets in the last 10 years from the side. The Titans and Manly hold the record at 14. So 14 is the lowest number. Dolphins, I'm desperate for them to get through this set. Let me tell you, got to get out of their half. And strangely enough, six completed sets they've actually made three line breaks today the dolphins <laughs> like that's a great conversion rate i like how you're doing it bossy i'm looking for positives so i want to be fins up graham Ray stone and up over the 40 meter line he goes that's play four we're ticking them off graham o'sullivan now at the back tabby Fido. and lemuelu with the ball play it 40 meters from the line they're going to complete they're going to complete folks comeback has to start somewhere here Corey Sebo on the kick Sebo inside their 20 Simonson now his parameters is four and against the, the points differential is second only to Penrith on the ladder and I'm sure points differential is going to be a big factor come September. You're deciding places in the four, in the eight, maybe whether you make the eight. Parramatta have no worries in that department. Hands and Barlow. Out of left. Mrs. Gutherson scooped up by Dejo Nasi, who's having just about a career best game. He's, he's everywhere for Parramatta. Moses the bomb here. Big one. Tabuai Fido. Do they want to challenge him? They will. Simonson knocked it back. Six to go, says the referee. Sebo caught as if the Dolphins needed that. 
That's a zero tackle. Now Junior Barlow. Off right hands. Hands are real good for Cartwright. He's passed on so good. But the hands were good in the first instance. Yeah, in a shape. Some great shape. Once again, Parramatta looking to play on every opportunity. This time hands just overcooking it. Offload again from Barlow. Cartwright pushing up. Hands need to hold that. As a ball player, just needed to hold it. So got a little loose, Parramatta. Starting the second half. There's a stat again, red zone. Parramatta dominating that. Mind you, a lot of their tries were long range today. Asako. Asako, beautiful moves. Hemerso! Hemerto! Sunshine Coast, Penasini chasing, Hamaso Tamuai, Fido scores again for the Dolphins, the kids love it, things are up, Dolphins have their second try, what a, what a slashing try as well. Man, we're very much like in the first half, Hamaso had a line break off of Kafusi this time here, Asako just gets on the outside of Simonson, finds the hammer pushing up on the inside. No better player you want to get the ball in hand with open space in front of him. 42 points to four down. The fin doesn't come up though, Vossi. Plenty in the crowd. We're putting the fin up. Yeah, good point. Now just have a look at him. This makes it look a lot easier than what it is. I don't know whether anyone's kept a record all time of most long-range tries, but Tapio Fido, more than half his tries this season have been yeah. finishing off tries that started in your own half. It's just some players just have a knack of finding a try line. It doesn't matter what team they play, it doesn't matter what the score is, they can just find the try line, and that, that man there is certainly one of them. So that means 13 tries. That means he scored in 10 of the 13 games he's played this year. That you, that you see a Tabuai Fido try. Anytime try scorer special is the hammer. And he does it in origin as well. And over to Jermaine Asako. 42 to 10. Nicely done. Well done, Dolphins. They got a completed set. Okay. Okay, they've got to the end, then they've scored long range try. Well, that was the first play, is that completed? That's a completion. Okay. It's a completion. We've got Wiley Parker in charge of stats today in the box. He's, uh, he's crunching the numbers for us. He's telling me eight completed sets now for the Dolphins. Proud day for you, Corey. Absolutely. Stepped up to the plate. We have Brad Arthur just to the left of us in the box beside us. I mean, he won't be happy with the way his team started this second half. They've had plenty of opportunity. Look to get the points a lot quicker than they deserve. Off the back of that, they've led in the tries. Barlow gets into the rib cage there of Kerr. Graham on for Kafusi. It's a good day for both Harrison Graham and Brady Mc Braden McGrady playing their first matches in the NRL. Obviously, the scoreline is uh, not what they would have wished for, but it's still first day in the NRL. Brady already a try scorer. It would be a nice touch if, if Graham could get on the score sheet as well. He actually scored in their very he scored their very first try in their the first trial match that they played. Their first signing scored the first try, which is a lovely touch. Last tackle here. Dolphins, right side, Nicarima to Bob. Parramatta, under pressure. Sivo almost lost it up the left shoulder. Be a really good set up for points from the Dolphins. Rolled the sleeves up, ran hard over the advantage line. 62 metre set, put a good kick up, put Sivo under pressure. Now play two, Parramatta at the 20. He's having to work hard and the Dolphins suddenly aim up in defence as well. Objectives set for them at half time by their coach. Up ahead, Gowie there resisted the chance to pass. Gutherson thought he had the mark very deep and offside. Well, he was. How far back can you stand? Back it goes for Moses. Kicks in front of 
chasing defence. He might just put that in the memory bank there, Moses. Just saw Kerr coming out. He's got great footwork. The winger had retreated. That numbers on the right hand side. The experience. He just opted to kick it long. Oh, the luxury of having fresh men as well for the second half. Uh, Makahesi Makatoa ready to come on. Fresh into the game. Scored last week, quite the moment, first of the career. Uh, Sullivan, Nikarima. For the moment, it's the Dolphins with a bit of ball control, and it's remarkable what can happen. They're contesting now. Sullivan, and Nichols, over halfway, no offload. That is one area that has been dominated today. 11 1 the offload count to Parramatta. Nikarima, out sideways here to Sibo. Again, Parramatta forced to start a set inside their 20. Simonson. It's as if they've suddenly remembered what, what they are about, the Dolphins. They're, they're suddenly crunching them outside in. They've, they've completed their last few sets. They're playing with discipline. And, uh, and Parramatta have been stifled here. Harlow caught 15 short of halfway. Fourth tackle, not a lot of ground made. And for Hengawi, Makatoa is into the game. Davey, the player, replaced. Last tackle, Moses kicks just outside the 40. Tabu Fido on the catch. Straight away linking up with McGrady. They're going with the ball again. Can they get another long-range try? Crab would love that. I must say, even, you know, flogged on the scoreboard to this point, but when you see a runaway try and the fins up, what an incredibly successful marketing thing that has been this year. There's not a kid here in the ground without the red fin. Ball across to Aitken. Aitken away. So McGrady on the end of it. O'Sullivan, O'Sullivan's been left behind for the Dolphins on the 40. He's down. Bromwich with a ball. Sullivan in a bit of distress. Tabu Ifido with it again. Last tackle, Dolphins. 11 out from the line. Graham to Nicarima. Goes wide. Ben Valens to Fale. Parramatta. Back off. Six. And, and they think they're going to stop him. Fins up again. Dolphins have gone back to back. And just like that, the Dolphins, Stefano. Scores out on this right-hand side, poor defence, poor defence then this left-hand side. A retreating defensive line, eight metres off your line, with that powerhouse runner coming at you. Sivo needed to jam in and try and come up with a play. Simonson coming across. In the fence, they have gone back-to-back. -back. Nice long ball there from Nicarima. That's a big blot of the copybook of Parramatta goal line defence there. Yeah. That's horrible. Uh, and Alan Stefano, who we saw, of course, at Magic Ground become a, an instant star, a well known figure now in his fifth game in the NRL, the big fella. There's a whole bit of him, isn't there? Yeah, you dwelt what you said in this big, and you, <laughs> you put to pull yourself in as to what you're going to chuck in there. <laughs> <laughs> he is a big unit. He's yes. a big thing. Yes. And I know what you're One saying. One big hombre. Hombre, all of those things. <laughs> Over to Osako. Kick. And needs to hang. No, hits the upright. 42 to 14. Shaw sure looks a whole lot better than 42 to 4. It certainly does, gentlemen. Wayne Bennett's message of energy and effort. It certainly sunk in in those sheds at half time with that try from Valence Tavare. Yes, he is an absolute cult hero for the Dolphins after that magic round display. What a moment that was for him and the Dolphins that night in Wayne Bennett's 900th game. Uh, this is, of course, game one of three and another triple header on the Sunday ticket. Don't forget Titans and Broncos coverage from 1 p.m. on Fox League. That's 56 points in Make 57 sure we stay minutes. Here, guys. Okay. I'm just saying, if, if the Dolphins scored at a point of minute in the last 23, we end up with 42-38. Bring it on. Dolphins with the ball. Back to the 20. 
And or did he lose it? No, he wants to take it back to the same place he just played. Dolphins with it, Nikarima. Now for Josh Kerr. Up down, Joe! Get square there! He was only averaging 27, 28 minutes a game at the Dragons and finds his way straight onto the bench here at the Dolphins. Graham, left side, O'Sullivan's recovered, that's good. Lemuelu with the ball. Four tackles into the set. And now for Nichols, and, and they've suddenly become incredibly disciplined. What a turnaround. They've now doubled their completion, completed set count in the last 10 minutes and scored a couple of tries in the process. It's a miracle. Campbell Gillard to come back on here for Parramatta. Barlow has done his work. Not, not getting back on today after all. Russell on the run. It was a nice little cameo, wasn't it, from Barlow. Went on when they had all the running of the ball. 12 runs, 129 run metres, a couple of tackle busts, some offloads. After his performance on Wednesday night, it's always difficult backing up. That's twice the metres he ran for New South Wales. And stats are stats. Uh, Cartwright had that hand free again. Magical offloads in the first half. Last tackle. Moses chip and chase again. Moses takes it on the toe. Moses chases through. Ball loose. Play on. Oh, he's there again. McIntyre. He has now scored twice the number of tries as Alex Twelve. <laughs> two in two weeks. Two in 43 matches. Well. When you're in this sort of form, everything slows down. Just have a look. Not much doing for Parramatta. Mitch Moses out of dummy half. Sees the hammer a little bit deep. Little chip over the top. Doesn't even try to go for the ball. Just toes it ahead. Does he make contact there before Nikarima was trying to pick the ball up? Big Reg couldn't do enough with it. And Makatoa may have got his second try. That's brilliant. Hesse, Makatoa. Let's just see if the Moses yeah. hand, Corey, have you spotted something? Yeah, it's touch Moses on the left hand on the way through. It's amazing that we do the review like this and then we go for the review again. I mean, let's just rule on it now. If, if, if he's touched it here, I don't think we get, need to go to the next step. Reviews. So we don't need to go no, to the step. Let's move on. Just, it's... He's knocked it on, but we'll, we'll do it anyway. 46-14. Mitchell Mays was the kicker, and all Parramatta players are on side. So I'll determine whether it's a knock-on. Mitchell Moses makes in. contact with Cody Nicarima prior to him catching the ball. This forces the ball to go loose. Oh. We have a decision. We have a penalty decision. Yeah. Not the knock-on. We're going to go penalty. You take your luck any which way you can get it. The Dolphins have certainly taken some luck there. Tackle that ball. Time's still off. There you go. Parameter of stall. <laughs> got all those tries in the first half and, and finished right on half time with Russell getting them. Their, their highest ever a tally. I just keep talking for everything. First wait half for the tap, you guys. Hold wheel. Wait. Aitken on the run back. Only the third penalty of the match. We're still scratching our head about the Sebo one at the first half. She had a line was Campbell Gillard. Just a clip. Lemuelu's Le got up holding his head after the Campbell Gillard challenge. That was interesting. Dolphins five sort of halfway. Graham and Kerr. Side the Parramatta half. Sullivan. Oh, Robert on the down. Madison, strong contact. There's a pass under pressure up there as Brad Arthur has left the box. He's gone down to join the troops for the last 20 minutes. O'Sullivan going to the line. Kenny Bromwich under enormous amounts of pressure from Madison. Forty-two to 14. The move from box to sideline is it because of the of the of the stalling of Parramatta? 
well just feel he can be directly in touch with the players just to give them a bit of rev up I, uh, look he does well he, he may have run out of water up top i've gone <laughs> down to the water boy. is that what it is oh yes yeah, i can see now big blake carrying a keg out there for mr <laughs> arthur i can see him. well hydrated Parramatta. Leader inside the half. And uh, off a hand Galway with the ball. He suggested at half time or hinted that maybe Moses might be given an early mark. I mean, do things change because they haven't gone on with the job? Does well, Arthur want to see them recapture the first half four? Well, the competitor and Mitch won't want to come off. It'll have to be a coach's decision. They come down that right hand side, they had some success. Now, Gutherson. Moses and uh, he's is going to kick for Sebo. He hasn't got a try yet. And a lovely take there. Jermaine Asako. Yeah. And they will save it there as well. Parramatta cannot get it right at the moment. Wow. Asako does a good job to get up. Both players, all players going for the ball. At the moment, Asako had the ball, they changed and went to the tackle. It was still in the air, deemed a penalty. Ball up in the crowd, and Parramatta man caught it beautifully. On the full, about eight rows up, off balance. It's a beautiful take. Kafusi with the ball, and hit hard. By the Parramatta defence. Mind Jimmy Andy for the black hand, and the ball back. Dolphins with it. Jesse Bromwich. And then across, Tabuai Fido. Off uh, O'Sullivan was pretty sharp. He copped a hit for his troubles. Aitken short of halfway. Now Lemuelu with it. Dolphins into the Parramatta half. 42 plays 14. Tabuai Fido. You get into the 20s, it looks so much better. You sort of start to forget the first half dominance because your score looks respectable. Nikarima, balance to Fale, and it's forward to Osaka. Yeah, it was the right call. It was the right play also from the Dolphins, just Marshall execution, Smith. not where it needed to be. Saw Sebo out the corner of his eye, have the target on. It was good for a try, Jermaine Osako. Parramatta back with it, but no points in the second half. Campbell Gillard. Kenny let him up. Kavusi went in on him. Now hands. I think Gowey. Gutherson. Oh, overreading the play was Lemuelu. Moses takes full advantage. Moses with the man outside. Lovely change in direction. Russell caught. And the Dolphins do well to regroup. All bar one has made it back. Now Moses fangs it across. Arcee, Gutherson, dummy! Gutherson on tackle! Kafusi, spirit being shown by the Dolphins. And again on the line. Oh, big tackle again! Gutherson cleaned up oh, and got still it. got over the line. It was smashed for his troubles. Parramatta have their first to the second half. And Gutho can't stop scoring tries. Yeah, once again, down the right hand side. The, Do the Dolphins did a terrific job to get numbers behind the ball. They come up with a play here. Gutherson splits the defence and then Moses, so quick for a halfback, gets on the outside, sums it up beautifully. And off the back of this, the Dolphins, they did a great job to get back in to formation. Corfusi comes up with an absolute try saver here on Gutherson for play one. Unable to get back to where they need to be this time. Little offload. Gutherson just falls over the line. Try confirm. But better. Better from the Dolphins. Better desperation. Better, better commitment. Jeez, he does a good job there. Gutherson. Ball carrying. Arm um, hadn't hit the ground. Gets rid of one. Kofusi comes over the top. Slams it down. Fair enough. Gutherson's got another. We know that he's, uh, he's been in a bit of a hat trick mood this year. Fourth multiple try game this season. He's already got a couple of hat tricks. I said it before Origin 2, so I'm not being wise after the event, but I think he's the perfect 
14 to 17 man on the bench for New South Wales to cover positions. Maybe, maybe Origin 3, he'll get his chance. Moses kicks another one, 48 plays 14. Maybe. Yeah, Parramatta and uh, Mitchell Moses really noticing that this guy on screen, Connolly Lemuelu, he was struggling in the Dolphins' defensive line. He was limping back and then he shot out of the line. They exposed him beautifully there for, to open up their defence and, and obviously finish off that try. So very much back in this uh, ruthless nature that Brad Arthur was wanting to see from them in this second half. I'll say this, Lara, and, and well done identifying Lemuelu with the injury. He was the only player. It was only injury that stopped him getting back on side. Like, I know they're getting hammered on the scoreboard, but that was that was spirited by the Dolphins to regroup, get back on side after a long break by Parramatta. They have well, everyone yeah, he back in line. He better strap himself in because he's out on that left wing at the moment with a crook left knee, Please, making his way back into the middle now. Mitch Moses will identify the fact that he's on one leg. It would be some consolation and nothing more, but to win the second half, at least you, you hang your hat on something. And right at the moment, they're leading a 10-6 second half, the Dolphins. Gutherson on that uh, right side where they had so much success. Moses caught that time. He's had a stack of running metres today, Mitchell Moses. To the side now. Let's go. Deals close in on 50. It's still sick though, without a try. Last tackle, Josh. Last tackle, and it is Moses. Chips work well for him today. This time he goes low kick. Look out! Look out! Here they go again. Hamasa! Tabuai! Fino! Runs away to score. You saw it. You saw it. 80 metres out. You just ran off. He's doing it. The kids love it. And the fins go up again. Well, he's got a wonderful anticipation for the game of rugby league. This time here, Mitch Moses has been superb. Two players with the vicinity. The ball pops up into the hammer's hands. Mitch chases hard. And the crowd <laughs> are up and about and on their feet and whipping him home. The fins are flying. And he's only had eight runs for the game, Bossy. He's got 251 run metres, two tries and three tackle busts, two line breaks. He's just has the ability, 48 points to four when he scored his first. Yep. 48 points now to 20, and he's come up with two absolute bell ringers. And I'll tell you the other thing about it. He's 21 years of age. Like, he is still in, in that rookie class to a degree, but he's already an origin star. He does this. He's a, he's a crowd favourite. As I said, they didn't get a marquee player, we thought, but he is now a superstar. Yeah. Put him on a billboard. Yeah, Cole, so he makes you want to come to rugby league. Absolutely. Cold hero. Cold hero for the Dolphins. He's their marquee man. They, they, they absolutely love him. The young kids get around. And you said it, Bossy. You're out in the crowd this afternoon. Who's your favourite player? It was always the hammer. Everyone. I would have spoken to probably 15 kids, 15 out of 15, the hammer. 68 points, 68 minutes, folks. Super Saturday on Fox Lee. How are you going today? Hey, we're going to keep this up for all three matches. Penrith, Newcastle next. Melbourne, Manly after that. Just wait. Second half, 16 to 6 to the Dolphins. Forget your biggest ever losses for Bennett. Record scores. Now the kick for the sideline. Sebo. Foot was out. Yeah, foot was out from, the yeah, from Sebo. Tap there, jumps off the line. Sideline official Michael Wise right on it. Mike is still blowing up. Not over the top, but still a bit confused by it. Here come the Dolphins. But they don't get into the 30s now, Corey. <laughs> Seriously, what an afternoon. So, oh, oh, that's, that's not the best play I've seen all year. <laughs> that, that was Little League. That was under sixes. <laughs> Pass it to the little kid next year. Hammer Sullivan. Bromwich. Hammer so. Aitken. Shut down there. Outside in. Parramatta. 21 from the line. The Dolphins. Sullivan. 
to the line. Jesse Bromwich, Katoa, and it's Tafare. Better from Sebo. They needed to do that on a last try scoring play. Nikarima, Kenny Bromwich. They look like they've got plenty of energy as well with 11 to go with the Dolphins. No reason why they won't score again. O'Sullivan now goes wide on the bounce. Sasako, Tafare, still the last. Katoa tries a kick, gets it to the end goal, and Gutherson has to accompany, the, accompany that one over the dead ball line. I don't mind if your players disagree, but the way they're starting to carry on is not going to be acceptable. Well, I've got Regan down the other end on the penalty, and then Mitch out here. Just talk to him because they're not going to not going to tolerate their kid. A couple of players just expressing their opinions to the referee. Stay outside. Stay outside here, guys. 48 to 20. Short drop out from Gutherson. That is a towering drop out. It bounces free. Parramatta come up with a ball. Simonson on the run. Bailey Simonson up over halfway. A try from a live dropout. I'm just trying to think, has that ever happened? <laughs> to the team kicking the dropout. I don't think it has. Simonson was away. 28 from the line. Parramatta. Hands. Makatoa. We really do have an incredible sport. And uh, this is one of three games today on Fox League and another three tomorrow, including the Broncos and the Titans. And now across for Russell. He passed it too early there, Penasini. Had him beat. Now Moses shifting along. Off a Hengawe. Not able to offload. And they slow it down. Last tackle. Where's Gutherson? He's moving around. Moses shifting to the right. That's where the ball goes. Moses Good. got his main man there. Here he comes. Just misses. Yep, off Hammerso. Scheming. Moses and Gutherson. Well, they'll get the ball back here. Off Hammerso is what we heard there from referee. Moses just straightening up. Ooh. Does touch Gutherson's hand. Jesse Bromwich is in. A fair bit of pain to that lower foot. You touch the ball, knock on. Yeah, it is. That's the right call. There you go. Oh, yeah. Keeps going Dolphins way. Second half, line break count. 4-3 Dolphins. Gone over the line. Second half, so uh, completion rates. Both nine. Put foot on the line here, guys. Dolphins just only wait, completed six in the first half. 48 plays, 20. No one's left the sellout crowd here at Sunshine Coast Stadium. Been highly entertained. Uh, the try count, what are we at? 12 tries, 68 points. We've just slipped behind the point a minute. Well, a couple of late ones will help. It might even be this set. A Sullivan, Katoa, for Aitken, driven across. Pittis, Pittisini does well, rocked him sideways. That's Dolphins next week against Brisbane and all the talk. Ben Hunt, as he turned out for the Broncos against Wayne Bennett's Dolphins. Intercept! Has intercept! Hopgood! Held up by the Dolphins. And he just returned into the match, too. He'd love a double. Jermaine Hopgood been outstanding. Now Russell bumping forward. 16 6, second half. Ball away to Moses. No sign of him going off. Makatoa with it. Campbell Gillard. Uh, doctor or trainer still with him on the bench, working on left shoulder. Ball across. RC. Gutherson. Sebo doesn't have a try. He doesn't get the ball unmarked. Simonson couldn't get it to him. Gutherson. To Madison. And then Madison. Cut off load. That'll be tackle number five. Moses and Gutherson both on the right side. Moses with it. This time the kick, he hasn't got it right. It's a terrible kick. Oh, he was Bennett. caught, yeah, he was caught in two lines. He wanted to go across field. Then he wanted to go to the grubber like he did only moments ago. Oh, oh. Boy. And in the end, he'd come up with the wrong one. Well, it's always difficult, was he, at half time when you're leading you know, the game so comprehensively as the Parramatta Eels were. 
to come out in the second half and whilst you say you want to be ruthless and go on with it you know it was they'll take the 48 point if it stays that way and, and move on and yeah it's still at, at this point still ends up a big win but uh, we know what we saw in the first yeah. half, and they just they sliced and diced the Dolphins. And Gutherson going back to the end goal, and it goes over the dead ball line, seven tackle set. Some of it has been Parramatta have fallen off, but you've got to give credit, the Dolphins and just spirit in chase and loose balls and all those areas that Bennett, as Lara Pitt reported at halftime, that Bennett yep. just wanted from the team. They have stepped up to meet that criteria if you will well it, it's their dna it's what they stand for if you had to describe what the dolphins team is all about you would, you would say words like that you know turning up for your teammate competing and as disappointing as it was as offhand galway makes his way to the bench over the last couple of weeks particularly last yeah, their last start 58 points in their first half against the Parramatta eels it just doesn't coincide with what they are actually standing for Second half, it's been a different story. So Parramatta playing with uh, Brendan Hands off the field. On the 40, Junior Barlow on the 40. That's the red line, Junior. Parramatta with it. Now Makatoa, 30 away. Four tackles up. Sun setting here. Been a beautiful weather day. It's cut right. The offloads have been restricted by the Dolphins defense he was on fire first half last tackle bomb maybe all the way across the face here Moses he sets it up he'll kick it to land in front of the uprights covers and off the post Dolphins get the ball Dolphins denied Parramatta again they find a way as we go into the last five Penrith v Newcastle next up on Super Saturday on Fox League and the great rivalry, Melbourne and Manly later tonight at Amy Park. Suncorp Stadium tomorrow is where we kick off the Sunday ticket. Broncos and Titans exclusive to Fox League. SASA on the run here. Nikarima, oh, that's hands. That's for Interesting pass. <laughs> Kafusi. Valisafade. Isako. Avoided a big shot from Sebo there. Back for Katoa, O'Sullivan, Bromwich, Nikarima, Aiken, all the way across the field, McGrady. Don't know about you, but any half break, my eye goes looking for the hammer. And I reckon that's the same, the fans. You're checking to see where he is. 48-20. There's still a chance of more points. O'Sullivan's kick. Ooh, they would have liked that to sit up. Play the ball. Yeah, strange kick there from O'Sullivan. Trailing middle. by plenty. Play the ball in the middle. It's like the old slow the game down. One the clock. Yeah. <laughs> they needed something. Put the ball up, get a contest. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, had to go up. Had to go up. Time's off. Let's go, Cliff. So again, second half is 16 to 6. Just that one that try to Parramatta since half time and uh, that was a after some long range break but then Gutherson able to get over for the over the line Tabu Fido has provided the highlights with a couple of tries in the second half I think the crowd would like to walk away with one more 48 to 26 somewhere down the track you won't remember that it was 42 in the first half Gutherson, over the 40 metre line. Five inside their own half. Then for Dejan Narsi. Moses this time on the left side. He's got speed to get him through a hole. Katoa just hangs on. Last tackle. Madison, Gutherson, Madison. Forward again. Paramount. Suddenly it is the Eels that are the masters of the incomplete set. Well, I thought they were very unlucky there, the Paramount Eels, firstly, not to get a set restart on Mitch Moses, who I thought should have had one here. Katoa just holding on way too long. That pass is OK. That pass has been deemed to be forward. Touch judge right there. 
you make of it as you will, as now they come up with an error. All right, this will give Parramatta a, a chance for points in the last two minutes. Yeah, they'll be looking for 50. They'll be looking for 50. I think they need 50 on what they did in the first half. I think this needs to be... Yeah. The number needs to be there. Uh, otherwise, you do walk away with a 16-6 second half scoreline to the Dolphins. Here we go, 12 seconds. Here it is. Losing the ball, Osako. I keep saying, surely, when you score this number of tries, Sivo gets one for Parramatta. That's what he's done usually. By the way, Micah, today, 99th game, so he hits the milestone in two weeks' time. Parramatta with a bye uh, next week. Moses on the run here. Under you and behind the line. Get 20 away on. from the line. Wait. So it's been quite an afternoon. Little short side raid there. Back to me, back to me. Benassini, two first half tries. Russell, Moses, Makatoa. And a disallowed try in this second half. Now Hopgood for Junior Barlow. He got a little glimpse of the line there, and he livened up on a surge. Hopgood may have a little bottling effort here if he gets a chance. Here he is Hopgood. Arcee, Gutherson, going Sigo's way. You don't want to run into Kafusi in that situation. Last tackle, Parramatta. Hopgood. And, oh, boy. Oh, we'll draw the curtains on Parramatta now. The show's done. The show's done. There'll be no on-court. It's just... It's got very untidy from the Eels. Very untidy. Yeah, not the greatest of second halves. You could say they took the foot off the throttle, but unbelievable first half from the Parramatta Eels. Yeah, it's been most enjoyable, though, for, from an entertainment perspective. Some of the tries we've seen today, there's quite a, quite a highlights package. It's the Parramatta Reels on a roll. I know they won't be happy with the second half, but they have won their last five, and they have again scored a mountain of points. The Dolphins suddenly fall on the wrong side of the ledger, win-loss. They are now seven and eight. They have lost three in a row. Full-time at a packed Sunshine Coast Stadium. Parramatta 48, the Dolphins 20.